After years of education and training, there are a handful of questions you're used to by now. How do you know that stain is blood? Did you recover DNA from your analysis? If so, whose was it? These are all questions that are familiar in the field of forensic DNA and are not going anywhere anytime soon. However, in addition to evaluations at the subsource level, meaning who contributed the DNA, forensic biologists are increasingly being asked to consider the activity level, meaning how that DNA came to arrive on the surface. In doing so, the scientist often has to evaluate situations such as secondary transfer, where DNA arrived on a surface via some sort of intermediate. As you can imagine, transfer scenarios are quite complex and require a breadth of data that for a lot of situations, we simply don't have access to. Additionally, because there are so many factors to consider, we often represent the activity in the form of a Bayesian network, which is a probabilistic model that can be seen in figure one. Each box is called a node and each node is assigned a probability of a certain event occurring. As our situations become more complex, we can add nodes into our model to represent additional factors. For our study on secondary transfer of semen, we're interested in the node on the very right, which is bedsheet DNA on the garment. If we note the arrows in our model, this represents the chronological order and the factors that affect each other in the model. So to determine probability of bedsheet DNA on the garments, we need to consider the probability of all nodes that lead up to that final node. We created our study to assess the impact of load size, passive wait time, and the type of fabric on the transfer of semen stained sheets onto clean garments. Our preliminary results suggest that there's a non-zero probability of DNA transferring from wet semen stained sheets onto clean garments. As you can see in table one, there are currently four trials for which we detected transfer, which is approximately 3% of the total trials that have been completed thus far. We also completed trials using dry stains with wet garments and dry garments. As of right now, we have no evidence to suggest that we can detect transfer from dry stains onto dry garments. However, we are still awaiting quantification results for the dry stains and wet garments. As we move towards project completion, we aim to complete the remaining trials and perform DNA typing as well to see what sort of quality DNA profiles we can recover from our garments. Altogether, this information will allow the assignment of probabilities to activity level scenarios involving secondary transfer of semen onto various fabrics.